Welcome to this E2E webcast on an innovative business IT alignment initiative entitled Procore, Process Performance Monitoring from Idea to Implementation. In this webcast, we're going to hear from Markus Vici, who is the Operations Manager for Small and Medium Enterprise Business at Swisscom, the telecom leader in Switzerland. I am your host for today. My name is Chris Henn, and I'm in charge of business development and marketing at E2E. In this initiative, Swisscom has improved the operational control around its custom-built order management application for XDSL, VPN, hosted exchange, and other networking products. In an area where close interaction between business and IT is revenue critical, the cycle time for implementing change requests has been reduced from two to three weeks to several hours, and in some cases, just minutes. This has become possible by using the ARIS Process Performance Management Platform of IdeaShare and combining it with the E2E Bridge, which is used as a generic adapter to extract and transform KPIs from the backend, as shown on the right side of the slide. This project marks the first use of direct model execution and model-driven integration in the context of process control and reporting. During the presentation from Marcus, you will actually get a live impression of what it means to have 100% project transparency. It's definitely something for you to look forward to. If you're interested in finding out more about the products in use and how the E2E bridge can accelerate and simplify such projects, please feel free to check out the alias e2ebridge.com slash ARIS for more information or contact E2E directly. And now it is my privilege to invite Marcus Vici from Swisscom to tell us about this interesting process control initiative. Marcus is in charge of coordinating end-to-end -end operations in the area of small and medium-sized businesses. He is responsible for incident management, initiation of business and system process improvements, change requests, task force management, project management, and he chairs operational team meetings. Marcus has a dual education and a degree in electronics and business administration. Prior to Swisscom, Marcus worked for Swiss Bank Corporation, Unisource, Swiss Telecom, Nextra, and Sunrise. Marcus? Over to you. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to share some of our experiences with you regarding a very successful business IT alignment initiative at Swisscom. I will take you through various aspects of this initiative, starting with the challenges we faced which led to this project. Since we have online access to the system, I will share some live impressions with you. And finally, I'll discuss some of the results we have obtained so far after using the system for six months. So let's get started. For the small and medium enterprise business at Swisscom, we use a custom-built application called Idas Echo. It covers order management for DSL, VPN, hosted exchange and other products. Idas Echo went live almost two years ago. It covers our application requirements well, but it was never integrated with a central data warehouse. As a result, we had only rudimentary reporting mechanisms available and these had to be manually scripted by IT specialists. You see an example of such a report here. You can imagine that we could only sporadically get new reports programmed and often these were already outdated the moment we could start using them because the interactions between business and IT were not really transparent at the time. As a consequence, we could not proactively address issues that affected the service quality. For any given process, and here you see the DSL order and delivery process as an example, we never knew at what stage a given customer order was. It could happen quite easily that pending orders would go undetected for quite a while, unless the customer called our customer care center to complain. Of course, in a competitive market as we are in, the customer does have other choices. And most will not call to complain about the situation, but simply switch to another service provider. In other words, the missing reporting capabilities and the missing transparency in the collaboration between business and IT caused us to lose revenue. We didn't even know where, how much and for what reasons. And at the end, nothing is more harmful to Swisscom as a brand than a dissatisfied customer who is sharing his frustration with other potential prospects. We had to fix this and therefore the objectives for the Procore initiative were quite straightforward. First and foremost, we wanted a more transparent reporting, which was easy to configure for non-technical users. On top of that, we wanted complete control over our processes, including automatic alerts if certain situations occurred, so we could take proactive measures. And above all, we wanted to have the possibility to give every stakeholder in a given process access to the KPIs and all the relevant process information, including customer care, sales, 
partner managers, product managers, as well as business operations and management. In the first phase, we collected the requirements of all stakeholders. At the same time, we documented the processes. We had already used the ARIS tools for other projects and therefore the process documentation was straightforward and a good basis to drive the internal discussions. That phase was complete in October 2006. From then until March 2007, we tried to see if we can enhance the reporting capabilities of our application. One challenge was that at Swisscom we already had a large number of applications in use and we were not really keen adding another one just for this purpose. So we looked at enhancing the reporting capabilities of the existing backend. Unfortunately, this was not a good solution because it would potentially lock us into the application and investment in new reporting capabilities would not be future-proof. It was also clear that in this way we would not be able to address reporting and process control of other applications. At least during that phase we had our business case formally established and received the green light to engage formally into the Procore initiative in March 2007. It was a key project requirement to check all possible alternatives as to how we implement this. In addition to extending the backend, which we had already dismissed, we also looked at integrating EDASECO into our data warehouse application. The problem with this approach was we had scheduling conflicts due to ongoing migration of our old data warehouse to the new one. The second challenge with this approach was that it would cover only reporting aspects and not include process control. So we looked at a third possibility and this was the combination of Aris Process Performance Manager together with the E2E Bridge. What we found very attractive with this approach was that it was entirely based on model execution. We had never seen such an approach before where the documentation in UML is the code, but it was clear at least conceptually, if this was indeed possible, it would enhance the business IT interaction substantially and allow for a level of transparency we could so far only dream of. Since the model execution approach was the only unknown amongst the three approaches, we tested its merits with a prototype. This was more than just a proof of concept, as we did already include both the reporting and the process control aspects. We hadn't done this for the other two alternatives, that would have taken too long. Later on in the implementation, we were able to fully reuse the prototype from that phase. The pilot was completed in two weeks until mid of April 2007. And finally, early in June, we were ready to enter the implementation phase and we went live with the project on time and on budget on September 10. When I say it like this, it sounds very uneventful and boring. But what we experienced during that time was not boring at all, and I get to that in a moment. From previous project, we had of course a pretty good understanding of how our established development methodologies worked, and now we were able to experience the difference with a model execution approach at first hand. 